Uh, what I'd like to demonstrate is the ability of the product to also break down and encapsulate heavier hydrocarbons um, and um, long chain hydrocarbons and heavier sludges. Uh, what I've chosen to demonstrate that would be uh, some molly, molly grease, axle grease. Uh, and to do this will require some agitation. So I'm going to put some uh, molly grease in my hand. And the, of course, my objective, I have a, a several objectives here. Uh, number one, I like to clean my hand <laughs> without leaving any residues. Uh, but, but what's important is the ability to, uh, to transform a, a, a water-resistant oil and grease into, uh, into a water-soluble state. And this is very difficult to achieve. And however, our product is capable of doing this. So I'll, what I'm going to do is pour a little product into my hand, and then I'm going to create the agitation necessary to break it down, which will not require high pressure, hot water, brushes, just just the ability of of, uh, of rubbing my hands together in order to break this down. Okay. Now, what's what's important for the environment is that the the hydrocarbon particles are encapsulated and not allow and, and are soluble in water, so the microbes can surround each particle and bioremediate bi bioremediate the waste very quickly. So, what I'm going to do is have my helper pour some water into my hands. That's good for now. And I'll demonstrate what we see here is that we have made a made a grease that's made to be water resistant, completely soluble in water. And I'll go ahead and finish washing my hands now if you want to continue to pour. Okay. You notice the squeaky clean effect of my hands. Okay, so my hands are totally 100% clean, which would be important if you're cleaning surfaces where you didn't want any unwanted slippery residues. And then also important, and this is very critical, is that the hydrocarbons are now soluble in water, so the bioremediation process can can take effect. You can see that it's soluble water, and it's not allowing any of the any of the particles to adhere to any surfaces, including this paper towel, which uh, would release every bit of the water that's in it, and just be a clean paper towel. And this, in effect when put into a larger body of water, such as we did with the motor oil, when this escapes to a larger body of water, it mixes completely with the water and each particle becomes further and further dispersed and consumed by the hydrocarbons until it no longer poses any threat to the environment.